Hey guys, how are you doing? In this episode, we are going to see an interesting software review called Camo Studio Pro. I have used the free version Camo Studio for a couple of weeks and recently I have upgraded to the pro version and using it almost for a month. I'm going to share just my personal experience like how it solves one problem I had for a very long time. As a YouTuber and content creator, like I create Mac related apps related and iPhone apps related uh, tutorials and, you know, plenty of screen recording. So for that, I keep on searching for a better solution when it comes to a recording experience that has very minimal amount of crash. So Camo actually solved that problem for this entire month. I have observed that it is a brilliant software. It is a must have if you're also like me who, who have similar problem, uh, you know, with the screen recording and if you're experiencing frequent crash with either ScreenFlow or TechSmith Camtasia or the Screen Studio software that I'm using right now, if you like this you know kind of animation effects then you should definitely check the screen studio software that i have already reviewed in our channel i'll leave a link to that in the description and in the first comment uh, by the end of this video if you ask me like how you recorded this video whether any special software involved the answer is screen studio so coming back to the topic, the Camo Studio uh, and Studio Pro, there are two different software uh, with certain limitations. The Pro version has unlocked all the features. I'm going to tell you, uh, you know, who is it for and uh, whether the free version is enough or you need to upgrade to the Pro version. I hope the suggestions I give in between the video with the walkthrough of the entire software features with the, what the Pro version offers, you will be able to figure out by the end of the episode to choose the right one for you. All right, the very first thing is uh, camera settings section here you can see the devices list clearly shows the connected and available camera sources that you have uh, with your mac computer i have the mac studio m1 ultra processor model here and you can see that uh, the camera source that i have the webcam c930e connected to it that is the screen right now you are seeing in the center of this camo studio pro i have selected it as a source and the continuity camera shows the list of iphones i have nearby and connected in the same wi-fi network and the continuity feature can pick up and show the available iphone as a camera source so this feature came with the last major release of mac os and most of the screen recording or any other live streaming softwares automatically either browser based or if you have a software installed in your mac it will automatically pick up and show that option so next to that the virtual setup is my EOS webcam utility this is where the problem uh, I had for a long time like I wanted to use the professional camera setup I have in my desk uh, which I have uh, an arm mount setup here you can clearly see so this beautiful Canon M50 is working for me for very long time I love this cam I have the direct power you know cable attached to it that uh, fake kind of battery have been inserted and I think it's AC adapter or something so I have inserted it and uh, I use it with my desk for most of my screen recordings and any recorded based works. But when it comes to live stream, uh, other than the web camera, which is the quality that you're seeing, I'm not impressed with the Logitech webcam it offers, even though it is 1080p, I want to get some better fine tuning. And you know, when I go live, I want to give that crisp and clear picture using my Canon M50 or my iPhone as a webcam. But that always been a problem, uh, you know, with the Screen Studio, it is not the Screen Studio software fault. When I try to use the Canon M50 uh, using the EOS webcam utility, uh, it works normally uh, while recording, but depending on the project time, it will surprisingly crash and uh, otherwise once the recording is completed, uh, I'll be seeing a blank space on the camera section itself. So that will be very frustrating and I have to hide the camera and publish the tutorial. So in such cases, the Camo Studio being the source, uh, it solved me the problem for the entire month. I haven't faced even a single uh, crash while recording the screen with the Canon M50 as a professional camera setup. I can go live stream with the Canon M50 without any issues about the clean HDMI problem. Canon, Camo, uh, the Studio Pro software handles it very well. And the very first thing is uh, the camera source, you can select from multiple source. Here you can see 
the EOS webcam utility I have selected. Let me restart the camera. All right, I got the feed. So the angle is adjusted. You can see that the Canon M50 is right now delivering the best quality. And th this will be the same quality if you go live stream and you choose either StreamYard or uh, any other. I, I'm a big fan of StreamYard. I'm using it for quite some time for all my uh, YouTube live streams and it does a wonderful job. Simply with the browser, you can do the live stream. I'll leave a link to that in the description as well. And this Camo Studio Pro as being the camera source, uh, it just eliminates all the other uh, software requirements or any glitches or those square box appearing on the screen. You know, even though with clean HDMI, that square box will not go away. And that was very confusing. And I have used this uh, Cam Link, Elgato Cam Link for some time uh, to get the uh, clear clean HDMI output uh, while doing the live stream. But Camo Studio Pro simply eliminates all these requirements and just with the software it just helped me to solve that one big problem without worrying about the crash i can go ahead and record as much you know uh, high quality video i want to and the next one is uh, here you can see uh, depending on the source you select you can choose whether it is autofocus or manual focus so let me switch from evo's webcam to um, shall we go for the continuity camera the iphone camera that i have at my desk so this is the continuity camera feature uh, you know you can choose this is iphone 15 plus then this one is iphone 12. you can see uh, how good the clarity overall is when i use the wide angle lens of the iphone and uh, of course after selecting it you can choose and the resolution and if you want it to be 1080p you can of course choose and how much frames per second it should be all these details can be customized and you can see for natural movement, uh, you know, some kind of filter is applied. Uh, I think I'll check that out a little bit later. So here the device uh, audio source can also be selected within the Cam uh, Camo Studio Pro and the presets here. You can see the saturation buff. You can uh, apply it more like a filter, uh, a color filter from these presets collection. OK, so all these things available right in the presets section okay i kind of like that uh, mono that black and white looked really good anyway and the template section you can see uh, that if you want to apply any overlays and watermarks you can use this feature uh, so you want to display any social media uh, handle of yours you can choose this one and there are quite good amount of uh, you know uh, overlays and watermarks that are readily available for you to choose from and the next one is framing when it comes to framing, uh, if you want to uh, use the zoom and pan feature or, you know, center stage feature that is exclusive to FaceTime calls that Apple have introduced last year, uh, you can use this one also. You need to set up in Mac computer if you want to use it. So when you move, the lens automatically adjusts a little bit, you know, not to great level, but to some level during the call. Uh, video meetings or any video conference uh, during your live streams it is going to be an excellent feature and then the next one is the image enhancements on the right side of uh, the application camo studio pro you can see uh, the camo studio offers most of the features that are essential for a beginner for a user who just want to go live with a decent quality with 720p hd and uh, you know it just gets the job done only if you want to unlock the ar feature the augmented reality feature and to get the full potential of the the iPhone uh, using iPhone as a web camera on the go uh, you need to go for the pro version so it is simple uh, for you to decide here you can adjust the background uh, applying the blur and everything at software level whatever the settings you apply here will be permanent and when you select camo studio pro as a camera source uh, with any application this will be the permanent uh, view that they are going to see so whatever the changes and settings that you do in this software will take effect uh, just like a snap camera filter or or any other uh, you know third party camera app that you connect with and when you connect it with your studio camera the quality will be amazing uh, when you use the camo studio pro application so here you can see you can also have a green screen um, but i think the t-shirt and the char black color is similar so it is kind of struggling to uh, filter and uh, remove the background if it is a different color it will be easier for the software level uh, you know detection to do that i think and the next here you can see with a filter you can use the default preset pop filter or you can also import any LUTs you have with Final Cut Pro or Adobe uh, Premiere if you have any LUTs that you like to apply when you go for the live stream or for recorded events then you can use this filter section the next one is AR 
that brings augmented reality features to your uh, live streams uh, but i think for some reasons it is right now disabled oh yes there is an app uh, you know the camo studio uh, app available for iPhones so what you have to do is unlock the iPhone and here you can see the camo studio application at the last one open it and they have provided an option to connect it by scanning the QR code okay when you tap on the Wi-Fi icon it will ask you to uh, connect with your Mac application camo studio pro and here uh, from this selection you need to choose para device and when you scan the QR code it will be connected and I have already connected as you can see uh, so simply click on the Robinson's iPhone and uh, now my iphone camera is connected all right let me a little bit zoom out you can see that there is a little bit delay i think during live stream it won't be a problem and uh, once connected you can see uh, that the battery percentage whether you need to charge and stay connected if you mounted it your iphone to the tripod the wi-fi signal status and the f aperture value based on the camera selection here they also enable the option to choose from ultra wide angle lens okay which is super cool and the wide angle lens which is 1x and the selfie which must be the front camera oh my god i would have dropped it okay the front camera so these controls manual controls are given to you when you go for the camo studio pro application all right let me keep it here so here you can see once i connected using that application uh it unlocks the AR feature. So only you and the chair behind me uh, where the black color t-shirt matches, you know, is in color. Uh, all other details will be perfectly in a monotone, in a black and white color. That AR effect is taking control of it. This one is iPhone 12 model I'm using right now to connect with maybe with Pro variants with LiDAR scanner. I think the augmented reality features will be a little more crisp and clear. And uh, uh, the basic portrait, color tone, and uh, emoji face. Oh, okay. It also captures your emotions. When you talk, it kind of moves. The mouth section moves and the emoji. Let me smile. Okay, let me be sad. Okay, let me wink. Okay, beautiful. So all these things detected and, you know, it works as it's supposed to be. And the next one is emoji hands feature. So, okay, I have an idea and thumbs up, thumbs down and peace. Okay, how about this one? Okay, it's not getting detected. This one, okay, hi. So these features are kind of, you know, handy and uh, interesting with to make some spice up your live stream. So the next one is invisible. So all my uh, entire face and body is invisible kind of effect applied to it. Okay, it is not perfect. And, uh, you know, you can see the eyes and mouth only visible. And the next one is beauty filter. I think it's a general beauty filter that we normally see with the AR. And 8-bit, uh, wow. <laughs> it looks so cool. And then sketch. So this is a Jaguar style. And then Fred's on your head. Where? Oh, I see. There is a leg. Oh, my God. Okay. <laughs> okay, there there is a cat on my head it's an augmented reality feature that they have implemented all right when i try to rotate the camera can i see the full cat yes <laughs> all right it's so much fun exposure adjustment i think it is also available in free version all of the features uh, the color controls the brightness contrast and hue level everything you can adjust you know uh, with the pro version additionally they also have this recording feature as you can see when you tap on it uh, it'll start to record selected as a camera source so that is interesting with audio uh, if you selected it you can do a quick uh, video recording and you know simply upload it to your youtube or any other platform so these are the features of camo studio pro and let me switch to the logitech webcam 
and the pricing which is the final thing that we should know about is it comes around like for monthly if you have a small project that you're working on uh, just it need, needed for a couple of weeks then you, you can go for the monthly plan which is 8.99 dollar per month if you are planning to use it for a few months uh, if it is a long-term project if you want to do more live streams and video recordings then you may go for the yearly plan which is kind of a 50 percent off already uh, a discounted price of $49.99 per year instead of you know going around $110 it'll be like $50 per year and it unlocks all the camo features and you can use it up to two computers one at your desktop and another one in your MacBook computer to take it on the go to attend any live presentations and so on and every single purchase comes with 30 days money-back guarantee that is the attractive point the software is not working out for you you can claim for the refund and they also offer lifetime license like if you're planning to use it for a long time then you can go for the lifetime license which comes around 99.99 dollar you can use it up to two computers the same 30 days money back guarantee is also applicable on the lifetime plan i'll leave a link to the product purchase you know uh, details with in the description and in the first comment right now there is no camo studio pro discount coupon codes available but if there is any promotion uh, any offers in upcoming days i'll update that in the description and in the comment as well but right now the pricing is pretty decent and it is kind of affordable for most youtubers and live streamers so if you like all these features that we have explored right now then you may consider going for you know the paid version uh, of uh, the camo studio pro you can use your professional camera iphone as a webcam or your general regular webcam uh, with your video projects and you know you can up the overall video quality that you deliver i hope you found this video useful thanks for watching for more useful tips and tricks related to iphone ipad and mac computer don't forget to subscribe have a wonderful day